Okay, here's the uh, tree we're gonna take out. This being the main problem, leaning over the uh, neighbor's house quite a bit. So that's why we got the boom lift. And then this part is already fallen and is hung up in the trees. Another reason for the boom lift. So watch along and we'll get it taken care of. so I am shooting this the next day um, we had a massive thunderstorm that night uh, so you saw we had 25 mile an hour plus winds coming in and uh, at some point I decided it just wasn't safe so uh, we lowered the lift and I did a little googling and uh, 25 miles an hour was the manufacturers uh, top rating uh, they said don't operate it in winds higher than that OSHA said 20 miles an hour so Either way, we were hitting gusts right at the tops, if not beyond the uh, limits of this machine, and it just really didn't feel safe. Uh, it doesn't really show in the video, it doesn't come out very well, but uh, that tree branch was just swinging back and forth, out of my grip, hitting the bucket, out of my grip. So uh, sometimes you just gotta decide it's not worth it, it's not worth falling out, it's not worth dropping a chainsaw, it's not worth the boom lift falling over. So. Uh, Best to know the equipment, know uh, where, when and where you can use it, and 25 mile an hour plus wind gusts is not the appropriate place. So, uh, all being said, I called the rental company and told them what was going on, just said it, you know, it wasn't safe, it was beyond 
OSHA's recommendations and, and they were fine with that. They let me bring it back and are going to credit me for a future uh, rental. So I was happy that they were uh, stood by their equipment and understood that sometimes it's not worth the, uh, the risk. So that's where we're going to cut the video off. I will uh, shoot another one when we go back on a calm day and uh, take down the rest of that tree. But uh, thanks for watching and always be careful, be safe, and know the limitations of your equipment. So thanks for watching.